Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again like always and hope you all are doing great. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. I love to share my knowledge through this platform so I have decided to upload a tutorial regarding flow designer in ServiceNow and if you are new here or wanted to explore more about flow designer in ServiceNow then it would be a great fun for us to start from the beginning. So let's go ahead. So in this video tutorial, we will learn what is flow, what is the difference between flow and workflow, what all benefits it has, and how flow executes. Starting with the question number one, let me open the notebook. What is flow designer? In ServiceNow tool or platform, we have an application called flow designer that you could find under the process automation application you could see this flow designer menu item once you click that it will open the page from where you can create a flow to automate the business process so basically we design automation that can execute multiple actions in a sequence when the trigger condition matches. It has three different type of trigger condition. Record base, schedule base and application base. Record base I mean to say if you want to execute the flow if any particular record will be created or updated and the second one uh, schedule based want to schedule some actions if you want to schedule some actions then you can select this schedule base and if you want to execute for a particular application such as service catalog if you want to execute a flow for the service catalog like the workflow used to automate for the service catalog earlier as same we can use flow also and if you want to execute the flow when SLA task created and if you want to create REST API, inbound REST API if you want to create a flow for the inbound email then you can select application so there are three different type of triggers so let me show you to address you, I just want to create a demo flow for you because it's just an introduction video. So we will just understand what is flow designer. I don't want any protection, just leave it as it is. And the difference is system user, user who initiate system means. Uh, by default service now give a system administrator profile so if you want to run as system user or if you want to run as login user that you can select from here and run with roles if you want to execute this particular flow for the particular users who will have this specified roles then you can specify role here so let me click the submit button okay there is already a flow with an internal name of demo flow okay if it is then it means demo abc okay anything let me open uh, this one okay as i said 
flow has three different type of triggers record based schedule based like daily monthly if you want to repeat uh, after a certain period of time if you want to execute the same flow again and if you want to execute only one then you can select once if you want to schedule based on weekly you can select weekly and application here we have inbound email if you are creating the flow for to receive email outside from outside the service now to the service now and for that you can create an inbound email using the flow and if you want to create a REST API for that also you can select this one and if you want to use the flow for the service catalog you can select and if you want to execute when the SLA task created then for that you could select the SLA task so let's come to the next what is the difference between flow and workflow according to my knowledge i have written here these are the three these are the differences i can consider like flow is easier to design and minimize writing codes it's true but it doesn't mean that you don't need to have a scripting knowledge to design a flow because in some cases it will required to write scripts when you are creating a custom action it will be required or it will not be required depends on the requirement and the another point that rollback activity is available in workflow only but not in flow testing feature is not available in workflow but in flow we have means we can uh, test by selecting the particular record but in workflow to test the workflow you have to publish first and then you have again you have to create or update record or you have to uh, request some catalog items then only that particular flow will be executed flow has enhanced ui as you could see here and talking about ui it has updated more in this Vancouver release that's why you are able to see this peak of where you left off the last flow which I have opened that's why all this swing here and the recent activity some user any user who made changes on this flow will appear here and not only that it is showing what the user has changed because we have flows of flow actions and this is the very good experience and we can design a flow in two different view yes let me go here so right now we have this like uh, step one then after step two will come then step three will come accordingly but let me check this diagram view and it will represent uh, more like designing a flow in virtual agent it's up to you you can choose this view or this view to design your flow and benefits of flow designer out of the box it provides a list of reusable flow components in the base system and that helps reduce development cost that's true out of the box it provides flow components that we don't have to create we can just utilize those components and this is the very a uh, good point here minimize complex scripts and reduce chance of errors third point we can create a custom reusable components and can share with other flows means if you will create soft flow or any custom action that we can utilize with other flows also not only that 
using flow we can integrate with other third party applications with the use of integration hub integration hub is also an application provide us or enable us to perform rest actions as just shown to you in the application trigger type where this list api is synchronous this is showing here because i have uh, activated the plugin called integration hub and i'll show you which integration so this plugin i have activated with no integration of enterprise pack installer that's why you are able to see this item here so friend that's all for today